please, Audi, please start for me. Fingers crossed. And we're back. Thanks for everyone watching uh, the first video. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and click the link up there. So, the aim for today's video is to get the car starting. Now, I've got my tools out. I've got the battery charge. We're gonna go put that into the boot and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go about trying to get the car started because obviously the airbag fuse was completely gone in, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna try and jump the fuse there and get the car started and hopefully it'll start. But before we do that, I'm gonna have to check the oil the coolant and see if there's any leaks under the car to make sure there's there's nothing mechanically wrong so far with the car that I can spot before I decide to go and start it. So let's get cracking. Right, so for the battery back here, we had the fuse come out of these two points on the left there and on the right, and that was the old fuse, and that wire that you can see jumping across basically goes from one end to the other and acts as a straight circuit to cut out the fuse. open the door now without the door scraping on the edge of the wing here it's absolute bliss oh. oh it's amazing right we've got more access down here to the arch and the suspension components so as you can see down here the lower control arm is actually snapped at the back and it's pushing the hub out now which was making it difficult to steer so I'm gonna to have to get a new lower control arm at least and then check if any other parts um, are, are bent or damaged and replace them as well. But for now, we're just gonna quickly WD-40 it, get it nice and loose <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then hopefully get it off once we get to the shop and get the new part. It's a new day. Now today what I've decided I want to do is finally get round to cleaning the car. I've been getting a lot of stick for how dirty the car is, but I do have my excuses. So the car, when it came, the windows wouldn't actually go up. And so they were like a few inches open. I didn't want to get the inside of the car dirty because the interior is actually okay. But now I've got the battery in the car and charged, the windows actually go up. So let's go clean that car. Maddie's going to help me, aren't you, Maddie? Yes. Yes. Let's go yes. clean it over the time that it's been in the yard. So it's actually had loads of tape on it to, from where the window was down. They had to put tape on it to make sure that they didn't get any rain or water inside the car. So we're gonna have to take this tape off. Hopefully it doesn't do any damage, but let's get that off first. Right, we were having an absolute nightmare getting this sticker peel off and we were heating it up. The sun's out, you would've thought it, it would be easier to peel off, but it's just literally, it must've been in the lot so long that it's just completely stuck to it. Now, I managed to get lucky with it my dad had some sticker remover um i don't know what the hell this is made from probably some acids or something so might be a bit harmful to the car but 
it's less harmful than glue, so I guess. I don't know. I literally, all you gotta do is just pour it on. You use a bit less than that. And then just wipe it off. And it all just rubs off there. That's all like the gluey stuff, and it's all just coming off. Car's looking good now, absolutely fresh. It got the cleaner it deserves and it's sparkling, loving the look of it. The only problem with cleaning it up now is that it's revealed a lot of the imperfections that it's got in the car. So there's quite a few scratches here and there, a few dinks, um, maybe little chips. Hopefully with some paint correction and a touch up, we can sort that out. So hopefully it's not too major. I did notice on one part of the body, it looked like they've been playing tic-tac-toe on it. I'll show you now, but like, it's just a whole cross section. I don't understand how that happened, but maybe they got bored at the, at the lock. But. The plan was to try and get the lower control arm and get it fitted, but because of the current situation with lockdown and everything, it's quite difficult to get the part and it's not arrived yet. So all I'm going to do is take it off and then fit it when it comes back on. Let's go take that lower control arm off and I'll show you how that's done. So to remove the control arm, it's just going to be the main ball joint bolt here and then take it off from the bushing at the back there. It's going to be, might be quite difficult for me because it's actually snapped, but hopefully we can still get it out. Or it might make it easier, who knows. But yeah, let's do it. There we go, that one's off now, that was a lot difficult than I expected but uh, it's off now so that's good. So we've skipped forward a bit now, before we got round to filming the rest of that control arm removal it started to pour down with rain, um, we had to get the camera in and everything so we've skipped forward now, I've taken the control arm off, you saw most of that in the, in the time lapse. The wheels put back on. I'm actually going to go and start the car for the first time now. I really want it to start right now because it's, it's going to be, from everything that's adding up, it's going to be such a big job. So I'm going to also go through everything wrong that we found with the car so far. After delving through the car, taking everything apart and having a look, I have found the following issues. So as we know, the front wing, the bumper, the bonnet are all gone. The driver's side headlight and the bracket was going to need replacing and a radiator bracket looks like it's going to need replacing too. The intercooler has snapped at the pipe end. I'll either need a new intercooler to put in or just try and fix this one, but we'll see. The lower control arm, as you saw earlier, is snapped and we're getting a new one soon, hopefully. The windscreen is cracked, so we're going to have to see what we can do about that. I found out the MMI screen isn't working. I think the LCD must have taken a hit from the crash. All of the airbags have been deployed in the car, so I'm gonna to have to put new airbags in the whole of the car, including the passenger airbag, which means taking a dashboard out and putting a whole new dashboard in. Big job, I know. The passenger wing mirror is actually missing the mirror for some reason. The airbag fuse, which we've spoken about, is broken, so a new one is on its way. The paintwork really needs a touching up. There's scratches everywhere. The wheels have seen better days. They really need a good refurb. I do really like the wheels, 20 inch, seven spokes. S-line alloys and hopefully with a refurb they'll look in good again. The calipers are a bit shoddy and they need repainting. The rear Audi badge is chromed and I want it to suit the rest of the car so I'm going to black out that one. The air filter has come up from where the frame has pushed it forward and has slapped a few pieces so it looks like I'm going to need a new air filter bracket. 
and of course the biggest problem that we've got is the chassis is going to need repairing hopefully we can bend that back and weld any weak points but we'll have to see about that so i couldn't actually check the oil of the engine i'm gonna to have to take a bit of a risk to get the engine starting but i don't mind doing it just to see if it'll start the only way that you can check with these cars how much oil is in there is by going through the mmi screen and that is gone yeah so i know it's an extensive list but hopefully when we get all the parts together i can get it going and get it looking fresh again because this car is really really looking nice now we've uh, cleaned it up please audi please start for me what do you guys reckon uh dad what do you reckon is it gonna start 50 50 chance yeah 50 50 maddie is it gonna start i'm gonna bat my boy here and say yes yeah it's gonna start yep well fingers crossed No way! No way! It starts! Oh my god! Wow! At least the en you know the engine works. Oh my god, that is such a relief. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've had really good responses from all of you. Everyone that's subscribing and liking, thank you so much. This is gonna be such a good journey. To answer some of your questions from the last video, I'm gonna try and keep the price on a low, low down. I'm probably gonna do a price reveal at the end. I'm gonna add up every part that I've, I've gotten, all the money that I've spent on it, including the auction fees, delivery, buying the car, everything. And at the end of this project, we're gonna do a price reveal and see what you guys think. Absolute huge progress on the car. I am so, so happy that it starts. You don't know how much of a relief that is off my chest because I've got so many problems with the car as it is. Um, if it didn't start, it would just be one major problem as well. I'm going to be cracking on with the rest of the video as, as quick as I can and get this thing back on the road and driving. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for the support. Leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> I do this a lot, I know. <laughs> I'm just praying. Pray I'm, I'm just praying. I'm praying for the car to work. Yeah, I'm